Increasingly, we're seeing that there is a uniparty in Washington, D.C. It has members that call themselves both Republicans and Democrats, but they pave the way for this spending that fuels the special interests and fuels the lobby corps principally. And so you played a clip from a press conference where I, I laid out a different vision for Republican leadership in Congress, not a, a version of Republican control that has us coddling Democrats or working with them on trains and bridges and whatever they're calling infrastructure this week, but instead holds this regime accountable. Our health care committees should be conducting oversight on NIH and Dr. Fauci. Our Judiciary Committee should be conducting oversight over the Department of Justice when they want to put terrorism labels on parents. We should have our Education Committee looking at the corrupt Biden Center that existed at the University of Pennsylvania. In almost every committee, there is a legitimate investigation that needs to begin, but Republicans have to commit ourselves to actually engaging those investigations because you saw, Chris, you've been very critical. The last time Republicans had unified control of the government, we failed to meet the promises that we made to people regarding repealing Obamacare, and that's why we got thrown out and Nancy Pelosi got put back in power. We have to learn from that lesson, and I need backup in Congress to execute on that vision.